Hi, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to, uh, attempt to show you how to use um, section access within uh, the ClickView security. Um, I'm basically doing this video because I had a request from a guy called Ethan in the US. It's uh, Ethan JBO135 is his YouTube channel. So basically I have the ClickView file that I've been working on for the last, um, for pretty much for all the videos. So I'm just going to get started. If, if you press Control and E to go into the script and go File. It's it's a hidden script, so file edit hidden script. It's password protected. In the previous video I'd shown how to hide the script and add a password. And I've added a new sheet basically by just clicking add new tab called a security and in here I've used uh, section access. Um, I've already got it done here, but I'm just gonna show you quickly how you how you do it. Go to insert section access inline. It's a basic user access table and the fields to use are user ID and password. And basically, there's two different types of uh, access, and that's either admin or a user. So I'm just going to show you how I, I basically added four users. Admin is myself, so I'm the creator. You can this can be you can call that whatever you want. Admin could be admin admin. And I'm going to say creator. And then the four users we want, which we have at the side here, is creator, sale, sorry, sales, ops, QC, and stock. And you basically just type sales, ops, QC, and stock. So we have it done there twice, so that's basically how you create it. I'm just going to delete the one that I've done, just don't be duplicating it. Um, I'm going to click reload. So now we're, we're back in the chart. I'm currently logged in as the creator, so I can see everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you quickly. First of all, because I'm logged in as the creator, the basically hiding sheets to, for particular users won't work unless you go into document properties security and you make sure show all sheet objects is unticked which it is there now so if that was ticked none of the um, conditional uh, formulas that we put in will, will work so at the moment again as I said I'm logged in as creator so if you just go into sheet properties of the dashboard and uh, general tab you can see show sheet is conditional and it's basically going to show if the QB user is equal to creator I've done the same for charts and dashboard test and basically sales is she properties is saying only show if the QV user is equal to sales or the QV user is equal to creator because I want to see everything all the time um, so I'm just gonna click save I'm gonna close the file and reopen it I'm gonna log in this time as sales now as you can see I can only see the sales can see the introduction page and the sales page. Now we can also see the inventory operations and the quality page, but I'm gonna show you how you would you would do that now. I'm gonna go into sales sheet properties and I'm gonna copy the code. I've actually I've already done this so um the show sheet is conditional for inventory which is stock so i'm basically saying on this one qv user, QV user equals stock or qv user equals creator so when i click ok and apply that will vanish because i'm logged in the sales um let's click ok i'm going to the operations again i've already placed it in here so i'm going to tick on the conditional and i'm basically saying if the qv user is equal to ops or the qv user qv user is equal to creator Again, you can see that's disappearing because I'm logged in the sales, so it's not. It's basically you're saying you don't want to see it. And the final one for quality is uh, QV user equal to QC or the QV user is equals to the creator. Let's click apply. So everything has worked. Basically, now we have an introduction page welcoming sales, and we have a sales page with a, a text or a, a list box and a text object. I'm just going to click save. I'm going to close again. I'm going to open up again and I'm going to log in this time as QC. And again, we can only see the quality page and the introduction page. 
I'm going to close it again, and this time I'm going to open up back over our sales. And the same principle works for list boxes or any other object within ClickView. So if I go into the properties of the list box and go into the layout tab, it's conditional at the moment. It's basically the same thing. You only show if it's uh, the login is the QV user is equal to sales or the QV user is equal to the creator. If I was to change that, let's say, to QC, click apply, it will vanish. Um, so you can basically do the same thing. You can hide sheets based on the login. You can also hide objects based on the login. If I go back in and change this back to sales, the list box should um, reappear. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that helps. It's basically a section access to hide sheets and objects depending on the, the username and password or the, the, the user ID. Um, I, Ethan, I hope that helps and if you can let me know if it does help and maybe if you if there's something else that you might need more on uh, section access again I'm learning this just as you are so I hope that helps and I'll see you next video thank you